Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to introduce you to the fnproject.io which is the serverless platform for different languages. In Today we will just look at Java. Installation fairly easy and comprises download, download of a single binary. So it is uh, the project is written in Go, so there are no external dependencies. Um, so it's, it's already installed and then as in any other serverless platform, the first thing you have to do is to start a server, which is um, with the command line interface fn start. So it starts the server. And the interesting thing is, if we just switch to another terminal, it's a Docker server. So it starts a uh, Docker runtime, the server. And what's also av available is the um, UI is fully optional. Um, it's, it's written in Node. And I would like to start it and give name UI. So I, I will start it as well. So, and what happens now, it starts an app uh, with a port 4000 and it connects to the uh, API server via the, the port 8080. So it's like fully optional, but nice. So we have everything started, two Docker images. So we have one, uh, this is the uh, UI project and the functions project, our server, and this is the UI server. Okay, so now let's start with plain Java project. So I would like to call it um, hello and this project just comprises no dependency is a simple jar project so nothing special and uh, I would like to create a Java class and call that hello And what we also need is a method. So let's proceed with that string call me string input. And let's say hello from serverless server plus input. So let's do this. Um, so this is just the function we would like to deploy and call. So what we'll also need is, is a file, and this is a YAML file, so we need that. Where is it? Uh, YAML, here. And the name has to be func. And this, we need actually three pieces of information. So version 001, then we need the runtime which uh, let's say is Java 9 and then the command and the command is the fully qualified class name and the class was hello and then the function or method name called me. So this is um, the YAML file and the only problem is we have to rena rename it from func yml to func.yaml okay now we are ready to go and let's deploy the function so this works with fn deploy yeah and then we need with minus minus app the app name hello app hello app and then the local is important so what the local does, it, it tells the uh, service that we would like to have deployed to the local Docker registry. Without the local, we'll try to push to the public uh, Docker hub and it will require me to provide my username. So let's try that. So what happens now, it builds this project with Maven and pushes it to the, uh, to the service and we have the uh, hello route using image hello 0, zero Two, so let's the tag. So fn apps list. So we have one app is called hello hello app. So now go here to four thousand, and we see here the hello app. So and this is the function version zero zero two, and we could run the function now. And what you can see it, ex it expects parameters here. Let's say par parameter is Duke. And it's just no JSON, it's just string, so we can run it. And the answer is hello from serverless server Duke. And by the way, we are we don't have to use that. Wait a second, run function. We could of course use the command line as well. 
the command line copy so let's try that this and just hello so this is the application name and the the um the function name hello and not api rather than localhost localhost so and almost there the only problem is here yeah, we have to use something more sensible like duke of course and hello from serverless server duke and right now we have just the two docker containers and this um, the the function is going to be started and stopped by the server we could also run the function for a longer time this is so called hot function so i think it's enough for impression so thank you for watching and see you at airhacks conferences workshops or projects so thank you